In June 2020, when the whole world was fighting the COVID-19 pandemic, Singapore had an additional battle of its own. Singapore recorded its highest ever number of weekly dengue cases last week. The tally this year is now more, more than 17,000. The country was fighting its worst dengue outbreak in history at the time. Having recorded 35,315 cases and 28 deaths. In comparison, 2018 and 2021 had mild outbreaks of 3,285 and 5,258 cases respectively. This year, however, things have gotten worse. Singapore has already recorded more than 13,000 cases of dengue, and that too before June, which is the traditional peak dengue season in the Southeast Asian city-state. The weekly cases have also been on an alarming climb, from 1,003 between 24th and 30th April to 1,457 between 29th May and 4th June. According to Singapore's National Environment Agency, the weekly number of dengue cases is expected to rise and hit another historical peak, surpassing the highest weekly figure of 1,087 cases seen in 2020 and may even exceed 2,000 in the month of June. The mosquito-borne disease has been an annual problem in Singapore. But what are the factors triggering these recent outbreaks? The current outbreak can be attributed to the high temperatures in Singapore lately. As per the Meteorological Service Singapore, temperatures in the country are rising at double the rate as compared to the rest of the world. Dengue and other mosquito-borne diseases thrive in such conditions. According to experts, as temperatures rise due to global warming, mosquitoes can survive at higher latitudes and can therefore spread disease to a larger population. The dominance of a serotype, DENV3, is also considered a prominent reason for the current dengue uprising. DENV3, or dengue virus serotype 3, is a strain of the virus that re-emerged in the region after nearly three decades, in 2020, when cases were skyrocketing. DENV3 can undergo dramatic structural changes that enable it to resist vaccines and therapeutics. And this year, out of 122 dengue clusters with red alert, DENV3 was found in 111 of them. While the hospitalization rate remains manageable for now at 10%, Singapore's rising temperatures could increase the caseload. Scientists are optimistic that a new vaccine that is in the pipeline will be suitable for use in Singapore and can reduce the rapid growth of the disease. Scientists are also developing genetically modified mosquitoes to control the worldwide problem of vector-borne diseases. To know more about this, do see the next video.